Yo, what is going on, guys? And today I want to talk about Jordan Noara, who's a six foot seven, two hundred twenty-five pound man who plays for the Milwaukee Bucks. And if you guys did not know who he was, he was this guy who's a skilled forward coming out of Louisville, and I was really hyped on him because I believed he could become a really good three and D player in the NBA. And he balled out in, in the G League in like the f one game he played, and they brought him back up. And this season, he's been really good. He's appeared in 20 games, 9 minutes a night. But in the past 10 games, he's been getting more playing time and showing that he can really be a guy who does a little bit of everything. He's a guy who can shoot all over the floor. He's really good off ball and catch and shoot situation. He's not a great shot creator, but he can be in the right place at the right time to do catch and shoots and hit three pointers for the Bucks. He's a really good rebounder for his size. And in the season, he's only grabbing two boards. But as we saw in this past game where he went off against the Charlotte Hornets, even though they lost, he had six rebounds and he dropped 24 points. And it's awesome to see Jordan Noara just, you know, coming together. And he looks like a rough, like a, a, a rough gem, an uncut gem for the Milwaukee Bucks. So I want to hear down below in your opinion, what do you guys think of this man and what he's been able to do? And he's a good rebounder. He had six boards last night, two assists and a steal. He's a guy who's be able to protect the perimeter and he can defend guys. He's got some length. He's six foot seven. He has a 10, 10.5 wing span. It's insane. He has a 10 and a half foot wingspan or 10 point. I don't know why this is weird. I don't believe it's 10.5, six foot 10.5. That's crazy. They were like, I was looking at this. How does he have a 10.5? Yeah, six foot. Ten, six foot 10.5 wingspan that's insane and he's a guy who has a good frame and he has the ability to play around the rim and his defensive capability as a rebounder has just been amazing he's a guy who's stronger than he appears and he's just consistently always off ball and making moves just to be around at the right time i just think he could become like tory a better shooter than tory craig similar mold of that type player who can be a really good defender and a, a three-point shooter for this team and i think he's just really fun to watch and he works really well into the milwaukee bucks lineup if you guys haven't been watching this team has been actually kind of rolling and i like what bud's been doing they've been running out there and his first start jordan noara was playing for i think it was chris middleton they put him in for correct me if i'm wrong i saw the highlights of the game i didn't fully watch the game i didn't see it till afterwards but i've been watching the milwaukee bucks and you know they've been an interesting team how they've been dealing with injuries and who they've been playing even though i know mike budenholzer loves their man pat conning pat conningham pat connington and the crazy thing is is this lineup they ran last night i really liked with bobby portis theonis ante de Kumpo, and jordan noara and jordan was playing kind of the like power forward position and Jeff Teague and Brent Forbes were out there. I don't know. I actually really enjoyed the same with thing with Mamadi Diakiti. I really like him as a power forward or like a small ball center. He's been really interesting. So I think it's a really interesting lineup they're running with them. So that's basically what I have on that. It was just a quick little video on this. I just want to hear your guys' thoughts on what do you guys think of Jordan Noara?